In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a slide on the work-life balance. As you can see here, I've created this two oval shape and I've made it kind of a 3D format here uh, with the shadow effect. And when I click, it will show you the objects or the images related to the work. And when I click, it will show you the object related to the life. So you can add the text also, work-life, and in the middle, you can add the balance. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any uh, light color background. In this case I have used some light aqua color then go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so depending on the requirement you can keep the size and then shape outline make it no outline all right and i'm going to keep it here and then i'm going to duplicate this by holding the control shift key just hold the control shift key and drag this one so you can see here one more shape has come so I'm going to give some different color here. Maybe I'm going to give some uh, yellow or orange. And then this one I'm going to give a kind of a blue color. And then both the shapes I'm going to select. Right mouse click. Go to the format shape. It's taking some time today. So the format object. And here under the fill I'm going to make this one uh, somewhat transparent to know. How much area it is going to merge okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both the objects go to the shape format merge shapes and make it a fragment all right once you do the fragment again it comes back to the original color the blue color so now I'm going to select again the same color and here I'm going to select the same color which is blue and here you can see here it is fragmented okay so now for this I'm going to select the green color all right so select both these colors and make sure that transparency should be zero and press ctrl g to group it you have to keep it remember this one you have to group this one okay and once this is done you can go to the effects and here i'm going to 3d rotation and from the 3d rotation i'm going to the presets and go to the perspective and you can just choose this one which is perspective relax moderately so it looks something like this then go to the 3d format here and start increasing the depth all right so you can see here the depth started creating so now but the position i would actually i would like to make it more flat all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the 3d rotation again here we have selected this one which is the uh, perspective relax moderately now what i'm going to do is we have got different rotation properties here so now you can see here if i just tilt this one to left so it is tilting left right okay and this y rotation is there so y rotation actually i would like to make it more flat look so it looks something like this and again if you want to increase the size you can just hold the shift key and increase the size also again if you want more flat you can make it more flat it's up to you all right so once this is done what you can do is go to the which is 3d format and here the lighting you can just choose any lighting of your choice for example some special so it is more darker at the corner or at the edges and here material you can see here different different materials i mean options you can just choose which are fit best for your requirement so let it be like this all right and then i would like to create a shadow effect for this to create the shadow effect press ctrl d to duplicate this one you can see here this is duplicated and then for this i'm going to fill the color of black and go to the effects sorry go to the fill and make it more transparent you can see here and make sure that this one the depth has to be removed okay so i'm just going to make the depth as zero and then put it here exactly and send this to back so you can see here this one the shadow effect also created now uh, this one i'm going to make a kind of a work balance uh, um, the, this uh, slide for that i need some images or icons for that one to insert the icons what you can do is you can go to insert 
pictures select the online pictures and here in the online pictures you have to type the requirement okay whatever you you need you have to type that particular keyword so let's wait for this to come and then now what i'm going to do is i'm going to type for example office i'll say office vector png so let's see png is nothing but the transparent background okay so it's taking some time so here i'm going to type for example office uh, vector png and press enter key and you can see here you have got different images so i'm going to choose this image i'm going to choose this image uh, some different images also you can choose and you can just untick this creative commons only and you can choose some different images you can see this office space all those images and click insert So the image got inserted here you can just reduce the size and you can just place it here now the same thing what i have done is i have just downloaded you can see here the same image here i have just kept it so i have used these images i'm going to just increase the size bring to front let me just select all the images and bring to front all right and then one by one i'm going to so i'm just going to place here this particular table i'm going to place somewhat here this office building i'm going to increase the size i'm going to place it here and for the other side for work life balance you can see here just increase the size i'm going to keep it here this ball football let me just place it here and this couple I'm just going to increase the size and I'm going to put it here all right and then you've got some kind of a uh, cactus and uh, some different different anyway this is a work-life balance okay then what you can do is you can just add a text here this is work all right and I'm going to make it center align make it font any color of your choice make it bold, uh, black only and I'm going to use the font which is open sans extra bold increase the size and here go to the shape format text effects transform and I'm going to choose this one which is the arch down and just going to put like this work here hold the control shift key and put it here and this is work life all right and then if you want you can just add any title here I don't want this one so if you want to do some basic uh, animation effect that also can be done all right for example let me just choose this one and i can just go to the animations enable the animation pane and i can just choose the add animation more entrance effects and i can just choose basic zoom click ok all right so if i play the slideshow it will show you something like this similarly you can just do the same animation effect for this one as well all right so add animation more entrance effects basic zoom click ok and if i play this is work and this is life all right so this is the work life balance and here also in the center also you can just add some text which is i'm saying that work life balance all right so again the same format font you can use which is open sans extra bold center align and done so you can see here our slide is ready and if you want you can add some title to it